Sweden prepares prolonged conflict with Russia. Sweden is determined to confront Russia as part of NATO. The newest member of the US-led military bloc has pledged. Arming Ukraine is a way to deal with Moscow's appetites, Foreign Minister Tobias Bilstrom said. The top diplomat praised his country's future contribution to NATO's strategy for the Baltic region in an interview with German state broadcaster Deutsche Well. Sweden formally joined the US-led military bloc earlier this month. It is not Sweden and NATO that constitutes a problem, he told the broadcaster. It is Russia that is behaving irresponsibly and recklessly. Bilstrom cited examples of Russian behavior that he finds unacceptable, primary among which is the military operation in Ukraine. Moscow, however, perceives the conflict as part of a Western proxy war against Russia. It has cited NATO's expansion in Europe, which was done in breach of Western promises to Moscow, as among the primary causes of the hostilities. The tensions will persist for years to come, the Swedish official predicted. We are in for a prolonged period of conflict with Russia. It goes for NATO, it goes for the EU, and we have to adapt ourselves accordingly, he added. The diplomat claimed that Russia was on a path towards regaining its former imperial assets as he justified NATO's military buildup in the Baltics. Bilstrom, who was visiting Berlin, demonstrated his solidarity with Kiev by wearing a lapel pin featuring the national flags of Sweden and Ukraine. When asked about future aid, he declined to make any pledges about Swedish-made Saab JAS-39 Gripen fighter jets or Swedish troops on the ground. We should do more, of course, but that does not mean that we necessarily have to do it on Ukrainian soil, he explained. Suspects of the terrorist incident that took place in the concert hall of the Crocus City Hall shopping center in the Moskva region of Russia on March 22 were detained in the Bryansk region, near the border with Ukraine and Belarus. Footage of the detention and preliminary interrogation was circulated on Telegram channels. According to the information of the Russian Investigative Committee, a total of 11 people have been detained in connection with the terrorist incident, four of whom are direct participants in the attack. According to information, work was also done to identify the persons who may be related to them. IT should be noted that at least 115 people were killed and hundreds were injured during the attack on the Crocus City Hall shopping center.